Detroit is getting warmer as efforts continue to curb climate change. According to the nonprofit Climate Central, Detroit's average winter temperature has warmed 4.6 degrees since 1970. That's higher than the nation's overall change of 3.3 degrees. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer going in-depth with how the shift in climate affects our winters. If you want to speak to someone who knows firsthand just how much Michigan's climate has changed, head to a ski resort like Mount Holly, where they rely on the winter weather. We haven't been able to add snow for probably 10 days to as long ago as two weeks. Mark Tibbetts has worked at Mount Holly for 46 years. He's groomed these hills and says from behind the windshield, he's watched our winters change. Is the amount of snow that you see naturally today different than what you saw 40 some years ago? Yes, it is. Most assuredly, um, we've we recognized actually by the mid 80s that snow making was going to be the wave of the future if we were going to stay alive. According to 7 Action News Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth, it's not the actual snow averages that have changed in Metro Detroit. He says those still remain at an average of 42 inches. It's the warm temperatures that are most likely impacting Mount Holly snow. We get little bits and pieces now instead of big storms. So we might get an inch, inch and a half for six or seven days out of a month instead of getting the big storms that everybody goes, OK, we got some serious snow this year. Detroit's average winter temperature has warmed 4.6 degrees since 1970. According to Climate Central, the change in temperature is more extreme than the United States overall, which saw a 3.3 degree change over the last 52 years. But we have a great impact during the winter because of our lakes. So when you warm things up, you put more moisture in the air. Rex Roth tells me that in addition to the warmer temps, he's also noticed that our winters are now starting a little later. They're backloaded with most of our snowfall coming in the second half of January and February. As far as this winter, there's real strong correlation to a wetter than normal winter for Michigan. So temperatures are going to be about the same, but if there's more moisture, we should get a little bit more snow than average this year, especially January and February. Until that snow comes, Tibbet says Mount Holly will continue to rely on artificial snow. The good news? Well, secret, don't tell anybody I told you, this year, uh, it looks like right about Christmas time, we should get a cold blast and a blast of snow. And just so you know, you still can enjoy the slopes here at Mount Holly all winter. Whether it be real snow or artificial, they're open seven days a week. Reporting in Holly, Sarah Grimmer, 7 Action News. All right, so the cat's out of the bag.